Hello and welcome to this video. These are vampire crabs. They just reached to my place this morning all the way from Indonesia. Now I'm going to do the unboxing and release them into the tank. As you can see they're perfectly sealed into a plastic bag without any water as these crabs are semi-terrestrial, having too much water can drown them. Now we going to start unboxing. Vampire crabs are good climbers, as you can see it has no trouble attach itself on my hand. So it is essential to cover your tank to prevent them from escaping. As creepy as it sound vampire crab does not get their name from their feeding habit, they owe their name to their spooky appearance, as they have bright yellow eyes contrasting sharply with purple or orange abdomens. Like other crabs they're omnivore, they feed on foraging plants and animal material. They are not picky eater and will gladly accept any shrimp and crab feed.
Ok now I have done releasing all the crabs. Let's continue to the tank setup. Here's the setup of the tank the land part basically consists of sphagnum moss, woods and rocks. Vampire crabs are semi-terrestrial. They live in the forest near freshwater stream, spending only 50% of their time in water. So it's important to include both land and water during tank setup. Vampire crabs needs to burrow into the substrate to molt, the processes may take up to several weeks. Females will burrow into the moss to give birth to live. Unlike most crabs these babies will be born as miniature adult. Next, I need to plant the tank with moss and some plants to make the tank as natural as possible. I will show you the end product at the end of the video. In the meantime just sit back and enjoy this gorgeous creature, stay tuned.
Here is the fully decorated tank with some garden moss and fit honeys. Low light and indoor plants are recommended in the setup. Just make sure these plants are free from pesticide before using them. They will provide more hiding space for the crabs as they're quite shy. It also helps to reduce aggression within the community. There may be some fight between males but usually it's not a big problem as they have small pinchers, rarely end up with serious injury. That's it for today and thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button for more interesting video ahead and I'll see you soon.